What is up, my Gwenting friends? Uh, it's Gun Gaming here, Gun Gwenting, and I have a little bit of a cold, so we're gonna push through today. I wanted to get out a couple of decks. Um, first off, we're gonna start with monsters because I think the Tunalia White Frost Elves is already the best big target type overall with this patch and with this update. Pretty underwhelming with this expansion. Uh, I don't feel like any of the cards really revolutionize any archetypes, except for maybe this one. So we're going to start with this one. Tiernalia. Um, so last night when I played on mobile, it doesn't say Devotion. So I was uh, very frustrated that I couldn't get this to work. So uh, the order ability is what makes this card valuable. So you do have to play this with Devotion if you want to play Tiernalia. Uh, which mostly said because I had this really cool idea of how to use Foglet to get just like insane value. Um, and you could do a two round play with it, but that just didn't work out. So uh, I did get rid of Nagopar in lieu of Imlarith. Uh, you don't get to draw a specific card with Imlarith, so that kind of sucks. But you do with Gaels get to play any specific Wild Hunt card. So I felt like Nagopar wasn't entirely necessary. I might change my mind on that, but that's where I am as of right now. So for those of you wondering, that's what's going on. Uh, if I was going to swap for anything, it might be Caranthir. Caranthir doesn't have as many targets as he did before. Ancient Foglet is still a really good option. Nithral is still a good option. Uh, Aridin is still a reasonable option. And then Slave Trader is also a reasonable option. Um, so that's that. Everybody else are basically deploys, so it's no real reason to target them. NL Conqueror is probably the best target for Imlarith. Uh, this is just value generally. Uh, but that's kind of where we are. All right, let's jump in. Let's see how it's done. What's up, Jarwick? Does Imlarith no the uh, Tiernalia's boost is just by bronze units? Bronze Wild Hunt cards. Yeah, I don't. I I tried one that was all in on Foglets and it did okay, but losing out on the Tuna Leah value made it so it wasn't as good. I think um, I think in the long run the Foglets will actually have more staying value. Uh, especially like. You use Necromancer's Tome and Operator and, and some other like Mega Scopes and stuff like that. I I, gen I don't think it's memory. I, it's like pretty guaranteed value. It doesn't matter what the opponent puts on their side of the board. It does do two damage a turn if they have something on the row, but that doesn't really matter. You hear some value. Like if you have three of them and you play Ardgate. And then they have nothing on the board. That's still, uh, that's still six. Wait, it's two points for each each one, so it's twelve points. To each one. I heard you're a fan of my work. Just I'll by playing our so. gate, it's three on each row. I'm pretty sure it's two per. No, it's just the total duration. Okay, okay so it's six points to each one. Still, I mean, that's 18 points. Plus whatever damage value you're actually getting out of that. Right, I like Warriors. I don't love Taskmaster. Uh, Tactical Decision is a little bit of a weird deck right now. I'm looking for Imlarith, but we might just take him with Gals. Crew is fine. Aristocrat is kind of garbage. All right, that was the other thing I was kind of hoping for, so... Red Riders is fine. All right, we're just gonna start off with. Should we gonna go for Karen Theory and go for like a double Nathrall? No we can play Imlarith to catch up in value if they play something that's bigger. Does he give Veil? Why does it does Nithral doesn't have oh it's because I used Crystal Skull. I was like, why did he get Veil? 
Uh, Max Hyperthin? Maybe. I played against a really weird one last night. Um, right, interesting. Go to our perverted hag! Okay. Um, I don't think there's like really. I mean, I could go for Tyrannalia. That's actually probably what I'm gonna do. So I'll try to cluster under one. Naivety is a fool's blessing. Naivety is a fool's blessing. Not the greatest of plays. I'm not gonna get that much value here. In terms of like carryover frost value, but I am gonna get Ard Gate and Red Riders down, so I'll stack it all up at the end of the round. I bring death. Quite literally. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of the cart. He's just a little too much value. We'll go for riders. Um Yeah, I don't want it quite yet. <laughs> Even though this is a lost one point of value and they would do a little bit of damage here, I don't want the frost quite yet. I want the opponent to have to commit a little bit. But he has a lock. Um, and let's save Foglets for next time. It kind of sucks because of him. Let's do this. I don't want Winter Queen out if she doesn't need to come out. We now have a target, so it's worth it now. And you got rid of your locks. And we're just going to take a pass here. Yeah, unless you have a lock, you got to get out of this round. You've got like... points of value here. I guess it'll be five, so it'll be ten points. Let's do it. I'm, I'm also passing you because I want the Tyrannalia to get value, right? So... Not enough, my man. I bring enough. fair wishes from the capital. Plus, you had to play him to range, so now you take an extra two points of damage value that you didn't have to. Alright. You want to lose down a card? That's the choice you get to make. The nice thing about this is when you play the Foglet, then it's going to give you the... Just try and find him, Loretta. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we do this. Just... What the hell? Uh... So it's going to hold at that three... That that three on the range throw value and uh and then it'll also play red riders which is going to give you seven total so you're probably going to come down to the value there all right really man i 
actually probably could have played this first and then gotten more value, but it's like irrelevant. Hey, Cora Kaput. Uh, they added language to it. Apparently, it was always supposed to be devotion. Uh, when I was playing it last night on mobile, it, it wasn't showing up, and I was getting very frustrated. Today. Tomorrow. Oh, these guys. It's, it's pure raw value for me. Give it to me, baby. Oh, we'll go for Ancient Foglet, and then we will... Uh, we'll play this. And we'll go for four on the Mora. Go ahead and ping that down. I kind of wish it went to the, to the lowest value, but that's fine. Alright. Battles need end in bloodshed. Yeah, I shouldn't have put them together. You're right. I'm getting sloppy in my old age. Let's just keep the pain on the soldier. Look at the belt throws. Doesn't really matter, like I'm just gonna bleed this guy till he has no more cards and I'll hold over on. Like it it's fairly inconsequential. Ah, he did get what he wanted there. She's gonna move him off that way and then probably do that. <laughs> so much commitment, my friend. So much commitment. Um, I don't really want Ardgate in a short round, so let's just take the value on the five. Level. Need to end up enough points here that he still has to play the last card, so we can hold two cards. Yeah, Tharsithius is not gonna. I do never end in my predictions. Um, well, it actually depends. If this hits Ramon, then I'm kind of screwed. I mean, we can just try something else if we get Immorath, or we can just discard Immorath. Just... Yeah, not Leah. Ah, dang it. We would have been okay. I mean, I gotta play it, right? So. And then riders attack! Nothing rival skinning you. Their hair. So silky. So silky. card back oh the one from the seasonals yeah i heard you're a fan of my work yeah ardently so yeah, and they got rid of the ones that they had from the last expansion too um there's a lot of frost here against frost which is kind of good 
actually kind of helpful. I'm not convincing I have dominance here. I mean, we probably could with the Poglets. Not the best, not the worst. Probably should have played them all the ranged. Lesson learned. clickies I see your foglet and raise it by more foglets Theor for the win! Thank you for playing to both rows. It's greatly appreciated. So you do want to get a big unit to protect Enter Queen. We'll be okay. You don't want this frost value early. Because then you don't carry it over, both for Winter Queen and for Tyrion Leah. So, a little bit of a weird choice for them. Especially since, like, there's not that much, like, just removal for elves. The naivety is a fool's blessing. And elves? Edge in Truth is a shard of ice. It's a shard. Uh, I don't think she has to be on range. Um, this should go down. I need them both to go down so I can get dominance, and I'll just play Wild Hunt Warrior twice. The world will at last be cleansed. The world will at last be cleansed. Get three frost out of uh, out of a replay on Hunt Warrior if you have dominant. You can also just do the damage and then the dominance for your second. This is cool. You did it, my man. Oh, no, this is actually good. Man. Significantly more frost than I do, but I buy it. Oh, Dominance. Oh, I don't think we can win this anymore, my friends. I don't think we can win it anymore. Death comes for you. I have to do. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's not enough.
Never, we don't retreat. Just kidding. Um yeah. At least we get Tyrion and Leah to straddle around. We need to pull like they either take advantage of their position. They don't, I guess. We'll see what happens. Why can't I get my boy? Come on, man. Maybe we do need, maybe we do need now. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. Aren't you so cool, Chairman Wu? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, we don't have Karen Thier, and I do think you need Karen Thier for value in this. They use both leaders, by the way. And have no idea what to do on blue coin, so that's fine. goes for range. But well, I can't do this. Uh, this 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 expansion to me re reeked very much of uh, we're out of ideas. Try to get him to go off. That's you know. When I saw that the that syndicate was busted, I was like, yeah, I'm good, man. We shall conquer this world as we have conquered countless others. Oh, I can put it on this row. Now I'll get far. Yo, oh, what the hell? Good job, Gwent. You did it. I definitely want it on this row, so that's cool. Your soul will propel this Oh, it's not work. Gotcha. 
on the opposite row. Oh! I thought we were done for. <laughs> we got this till our <laughs> You ain't gonna get dominant. Can you believe it? Yeah, they have. They killed my foggle with it. That's how I lost the last one. You know. I don't hate that actually. <laughs> Look at all that wasted frost. Okay, so I have two problems with the deck overall. This is that's all I'm gonna make out of this one. Number one, that Winter Queen comes out in a round where Tyrannalia isn't at its top of its game, and Tyrannalia's devotion. So you have this interaction between the two cards that's basically like, yeah, it sucks for you. It feels bad. I don't like it. I, like, if you're gonna play monsters, don't play this. Like, Kelly's probably better. That's all for today. Bye for now. Have fun, Gwending.